Hello and welcome to the Narrowboat Experience. Morning. As you may remember, we moored at the bottom of Whitewick Lock the other day on our last cruising video and we are now going to continue our journey along the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal towards Wombourne because um, there's a Sainsbury's there. Yes. The last lock we're going to get to is Bumblehole Lock and you might remember Bumblehole from when we did our Black Country Boating Festival, festival um, but it's not the same one. No, there's two Bumbleholes. And two Swindons. We're going past the other Swindon. We're literally in a Jasper Ford novel right now because everything's double. Oh, uh, okay. I just thought I'd show you quickly how we moored up when we had to pin in because we haven't been able to use a nappy pin or any chains. We like to do a springer line on the back. Uh, today I've done a springer line on the front as well because we're pinned and I like to use uh, two pins together for the actual stern line and one extra pin for the springer line. This is for those of you that love the blue ropes. Alice is trying to sell this as her new cruising spot. about the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal is that it's so well set up if you are a boater that loves a pub because we generally don't go to an enormous amount of pubs but not because we don't like them yeah just you guys know why um, but we found it really difficult to not kind of just go for a drink or you know have a look around because there's so many really lovely pubs so that is one point for the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal if you are deciding to cruise here the other point that I'd like to mention is that it's not really um, good in terms of water and rubbish points, certainly between Great Hayward Junction and where we are now, because we've only had the water point at Great Hayward Junction and then the water point at Gailey. I don't think we've missed any. No, we haven't so, missed any. So it is a good for a few cruising hours between water points, yes. which doesn't always suit a liverboard who would like to typically moor up for up to two weeks yes unless you've got a massive water tank yes which we're working on so we've been moving a little bit more regularly than we would usually yeah which has reason. been quite nice the funny thing is once you hit Kinva there's like just after the Sainsbury's there's a water point and then on the same page Another 50 way. minutes later there's a water point and then half an hour later there's a water point so we're actually thinking we might be able to stagger some of the travel at that point and catch up on a little bit of work because we have um, we've needed to do more miles than we have work so it all comes around in the end yeah. I'm enjoying it anyway I've really enjoyed all the scenery it's been quite it's been a nice canal to travel on it hasn't been too busy no and we've been traveling in August for the most part yes the weather's not been great, but that's potluck wherever you are in the country. Yeah. descending but we've noticed that there's a slight amount of curvature just past the sill line and it's not a problem for us because we're 57 foot however if you were a longer boat with a square bottom, I think it is something you'd really have to be mindful of. It's a very slight curvature. Comment below if you have a square bottom boat and it's larger and you've noticed that yourself because it is an issue that we were kind of thinking about and we wanted to mention to you guys um, 
and it is one of the things we've noticed with the square bottom boat. We are definitely following somebody down the locks because the locks are empty and when I'm in the lock, you do not seem that leaky. That's fine. so that you don't miss any of it. The round oak is a tufa. Tufa 10. I'm in. Ready. We have moored up for the day and I have to say that this is one of my favourite days on the Staffordshire and Worcestershire Canal. I've really enjoyed it. It's been absolutely beautiful. If you too have enjoyed watching this section of our journey then please do give this video a thumbs up. 
we have plenty more canal to explore which we're both really looking forward to so don't forget to come back and watch as we continue our journey along the canal yes bye thanks for watching <laughs>